I had an audience member ask me how they can learn how to do a handstand on gymnastics rings, which, in case you didn't notice, they're very unstable, which makes it stinking impossible to do a handstand on them unless you have a fundamentally correct handstand. Just as in my how to hold a handstand video, it comes down to posture, practice, and some strength. This is even more important when you're on unstable rings. I mean, what if you're trying to balance on the rings by standing on them? like on your feet. You better have some solid posture, right? Or else you would fall. So what makes standing on your hands on the rings any different? Well, not much. Except that your arms are probably not as strong as your legs. You can grip the rings better with your hands than your feet. And your face won't get all red if you're standing on your feet. Oh, and I guess this goes without saying, you better have a really good handstand before even attempting this. Once your handstand is competent on the floor, meaning like, you know, you can hold it for like 30 seconds or more, then you can go and try it on the rings. Make sure you have a mat or something underneath you, not like me, concrete. And to start, you can wrap your feet around the rings for balance until you get your bearings. Then as you become more comfortable, move your feet to just barely touching the inside of the ring straps. Remember what I said about in my how to hold a handstand video about pushing up and making your body as tall as possible and getting rid of any shoulder angle? Yeah, this is like critically important. You need to extend and push on the rings and make your body as tall as possible. Also, you want to turn the rings out so your arms don't brush the straps. And try to keep your arms locked out. In gymnastics, bent arms and touching the straps are a deduction. Bad. You can adjust your balance using your wrists, and even your shoulders can planche forward to adjust your balance if needed. If you're not there yet, and you're not quite ready for a handstand on the rings, I recommend practicing your handstand against a wall or even better if you can, a one-arm handstand on the wall. This will help improve your handstand and get you ready for holding it longer on the ground. Also, handstand push-ups and presses are a great thing to practice and will make your handstand better over time. To help you get rid of that shoulder angle, make sure you regularly stretch your lats and everything else by hanging on a bar. Also, actively strengthening your scaption muscles is a great idea. You can do the TRX letter I for that, which will also improve your reverse hect or Takacha for you gymnasts out there. I wish I were doing that when I was competing it. It would have helped. Have you tried handstands on the rings? Leave me a comment below and let me know how long you can hold it for. They're tough. And if you haven't done that yet, thank you for subscribing to my channel where I post a new video every single Monday on your healthy, active lifestyle. Also, you can follow me on Instagram where I post some of my fun things I come across during the week. If you have an Android device, you can download the Fitness on the Run Android app from the Google Play Store. I'll put the link below in the description. You can check out my body weight training playlist here. And I'm John Hamm from Fitness on the Run, and I will see you guys for a special video next Monday.